Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. How is everybody doing today? Let me just double check and make sure that we are good to go, that we are recording, that we are live before we get started. Wonderful. Looks like we are good. Can't believe it is the last Tuesday in March. It's just absolutely insane. Um, time has been flying by. But anyway, welcome, everybody, to a special edition of our migraine strategy call on Tuesdays. We are here to do a Freedom from Migraine Method panel called A Day in the Life of a Freedom from Migraine Method member. And we are just so glad for all of the wonderful, amazing ladies that have said they're going to join us here today. So if you are here, give me a quick hello in chat. Let me know you're here. I'm going to kind of be doing double duty today. I know we have Amber on one end helping us in the group, um, but all my amazing team is here on this side, the ones who are usually working in the background. So I get to do the background work today and have them do all the talking, which is great. Sonia's here. Ruth is here. Uh, Catherine is here, so thank you. And Leslie, thank you for joining us today. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Debbie Weidel. I am your migraine specialist health coach here to support you to find your migraine freedom. Just so you know, I had daily migraines for 10 years and I have been migraine free for over a decade and counting. My company's mission is to drop that statistic of one in four women who are suffering with migraines down to destination zero, one woman at a time, starting with themselves, which is why it's so amazing to have them here today in this panel format. For those of you who are joining us, whether it be live or watching the replay, you're here and you're here showing us that you are ready to take control of your health, to end your pain, and to finally get your life back, which I'm sure most of you have been told that that was an impossibility. I 100% wanna thank all of you for all of the amazing questions that you submitted. We're gonna to get to as many as we can today. For those of you that are here live, if we answer your question, please let us know that you're here. And if we don't get to your question, please know that a member of the team will be reaching out to you within the next day or so to make sure that you get those answers. Uh, we wanna make sure that we honor everyone's time here today. So we're not here for three hours trying to go through all the questions. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanna give a big thank you to my team who is here today. Um, each member of my team is actually either a member of the program right now or a graduate of the program. And they took time out of their busy day to be here to support not only me, but to support all of you so that you can learn how to navigate your migraine freedom. And I'm used to setting up interviews. I talk to people all the time, but trying to navigate, um, you know, this many women who have busy lives <laughs> is not an easy feat. So thank you everyone for being here today. Okay, so for all of you with us today, or again, if anyone is watching on the replay, um, as our panelists talk, remember that they were once in the same spot that you're in, you know, battling with this skepticism, this fear, this doubt, and really just searching for that hope, hoping that there was something out there. Because of that, we put this panel together so that you can see all the different ways and different lives of people that have gone through this. Cause I hear so often, ah, that works for somebody else. That's not going to work for me. You know, I know that maybe that's great that, you know, Erin found her migraine freedom, but I'm not the same as her. So I'm not going to find it. So we have this panel here, people who are in the freedom from migraine method, people who did destination zero, people who've been graduates for, you know, over, or alumni for over a year so that you can hear from everyone and understand that migraine freedom is a possibility for like 99% of the women out there. So let's get started so that we have plenty of time to make sure that we can go through all of the questions here. So I am gonna start with Erin. Erin is our client success coach in the Freedom from Migraine Method. She graduated in December of 2020, right Erin? Is that right? Okay, I thought so. And she's been living migraine free, uh, you know, since then with just some head pressure here or there when those huge weather fronts come through. Um, we live in Rochester, New York, and 
It was snowing yesterday. It was snowing the day before. And then last week it was 60. So those are going to be a reality. Um, but anyway, Erin's doing great. And she's a huge part of our team here to help you. So if you anybody needs anything, please make sure that you reach out. Um, but Erin, the first question, let's kick it off with, I think one of the biggest worries that most women have is, what if I join and it just doesn't work? All right. Well, it's great to be here. It's great to be with this wonderful group of ladies. It's great to be with all of you live. Um, that is a very fair question. And I would honestly say, if you're not asking that, you know, that's, that might be an issue. Um, like many of you, I tried a lot of things before. I spent a lot of money. And I remember thinking, why is this different? But the more research I did into Debbie and the program, and even talking to Debbie, I realized there's a very big difference between treating symptoms, right? And then healing the source, okay? And I had been, unbeknownst to me, when I learned more about migraines, um, I had had migraines a lot longer than I realized. Uh, we're talking decades. And um, especially around cycles and things like that. Um, so the big difference to me is that treating the symptoms or using a whole kind of what I call wraparound approach where you kind of look at not just the body and the symptoms, but you treat the source. And also I love, I get the joy of, um, you know, being a graduate and an employee now. And I, I honestly could not work for Debbie if it didn't work for me, because that's not how I roll, right? If it didn't work for me, I couldn't tell you all, yeah, this is great. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Um, and I get to look at mindset, which um, that's another piece of all this. So I, I would say two things about this. It's a whole approach. As you can tell, there's a team of us working with you for you to support you. Um, I'm going to be honest and straightforward. You have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to give the program a try. You have to be open to trying new things. I, I know that sounds awesome when you're in pain. Hey, you know, you're in pain. Can you do one more thing? Um, I am living proof every day that it works. Uh, my family and I often say we're so grateful to Debbie because it is the best gift we've ever given me and my loved ones. And uh, I hope you're willing to give us, you know, have a call with us, talk to our team. Um, I think you'll find we're pretty straightforward. And I don't, I think I speak for the team. None of us would be here if we hadn't found our own version of migraine freedom. You can't, you can't promote something you don't believe in, at least not wholeheartedly. So here's to that whole approach, Debbie, and here's to you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. And I think it's important to note, um, you know, because I don't want anyone walking away from this thinking that I'm, you know, speaking not a truth. So there is, there is a very small percentage of women that this approach is not going to work for. You know, there is that small percentage. And typically those are women that come to us where they have some major, um, major issue that is, you know, not reversible. Let's say there is some damage that's done, that's been done for so long, you know, and that's the reason that we love to jump on a call and talk to people is because then we can know, is this something that can support you or can we get your resources and get you help somewhere else? You know, because there is help no matter where, I think there's help everywhere. We just have to make sure we get you to the right person. Um, this approach I have found works for 99.9% .9 of the people that I talk to, but you know, that little percentage there, then let's just make sure we find you the right place to be. Hey, Jenny, good to hear from you. Good to see you. Um, so many people jumping on. Jennifer jumped on as well. Thank you so much for being here today, ladies. And Jackie, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with you ladies over there. All right, let's keep rolling. So we keep going well with time here. So Barbie, let's have you jump on. Barbie is our community coordinator in the Women's Migraine Freedom Group. I'm sure many of you watching have spoken with Barbie in the past. She graduated from the program last June, then immediately went into our upper level program, which is called Destination Zero due to a newly diagnosed health problem. Um, Barbie liked to keep me on my toes. <laughs> she definitely kept me on my toes during the program. Um, but she graduated in September, so six months ago, and you've been migraine free except for two exceptions, which one we're hearing of extremely commonly, COVID. You know, COVID brings in massive inflammation. So a lot of people are having some really hard setbacks with COVID, not that we can't get out of them, but it's inflammation. So it takes us back a step. And then during a treatment that you did for SIBO, uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is also understandable because you're working on one issue, which is going to raise some inflammation while we work on it, but then we got it lowered again. But both times 
you went back to the basics of the program and ended up being migraine free, which is in a few weeks. And this is one I would just like to state is a person that said to me over and over and over again, I will do whatever you want me to do, but this is just not working. I will keep doing it, but this is just not working. And I'm like, Barbie, you just hang in there with me. You just hang in there and look where you are now. So Barbie, your question is, would you recommend this program to someone, this person said, like me, who has migraines that are different than everyone else's? <laughs> I thought this was the perfect question for you. <laughs> yeah, that makes me laugh a little bit. Um, I would definitely recommend this literally to anybody. And I, when I joined the program, I was not like others. I know Aaron described researching the program in you. I was so desperate because I have tried, I had tried everything, 11 years, surgery twice, radio frequency ablations twice, you name it, a neural stimulator, every med, anyway, you know, um, and I was diagnosed with eight or more different types of migraine, including hormonal, which a lot of people think that, you know, if I'm got, getting hormonal migraines, you can't help me. And that's not true. I also had vestibular. I was labeled with vestibular and hypnic. And anytime I just lie down, I'd get a migraine. I, how are you going to help me? I, I just always thought. And I got better at the beginning of the program only to then get worse. Um, well, not worse, but back to the way I was. I just thought, how is this going to work? But I was so desperate. And this was going to be my last effort. I came into the program on hormone replacement therapy. So I know all about the hormonal thing. And I had taken that after chemo because I went into instant menopause and the hot flashes and migraines went even higher, if that's even possible. I was having daily migraines and um, the HRT wasn't working. So right when I started the program, I actually just quit it. Um, I sort of tapered down and then quit it it wasn't working and i started having lots of hot flashes right at the beginning and and that was still not my worst symptom because of lying down and not being able to sleep i love to exercise every time i'd exercise i'd get a migraine i did it anyway because i'm obsessed that way <laughs> i don't know laugh 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 but <laughs> and uh anyway, i laugh barbie because there's so many people right now are going i would do anything <laughs> not to exercise <laughs> oh i know <laughs> have our thing, whatever it is you want to do. Yeah. And migraines taking that away from you. Yeah. And um, I, I literally couldn't even get out of my own way, you know, so it did take me a while. Um, I did go on into destination zero. Um, but one of the first things I noticed was as my inflammation was coming down through the program, um, the hot flashes and all that stuff went away. I still had migraines, but I could see that my hormones were getting put into place. And, and still, that wasn't one of my biggest concerns because I had so many other things going on um, with eight different migraine types, the neck pain and anyway, lack of sleep and many, many food triggers had a stomach infection anyway. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the program no matter what your trigger is. And the reason why is because we are attacking your whole body inflammation. And when you lower that inflammation, everything benefits from that, everything. Whatever your triggers are, those are causing inflammation. And so if you can get a handle on that inflammation, then all of these other issues in your body, and of course we're here for migraine, but I saw improvements with my hormones, with my SIBO, um, with sleeping, being able to sleep, and finally last for me, being able to exercise without getting a migraine. Now, I'm obviously not 100% where I want to be because I got migraines during COVID. I, COVID's awful, um, but I, I was disappointed because I wanted to you know, be at that point with my threshold that was so high I could handle COVID. Um, so I still, I'm still trying to be consistent and still trying to get out of my own way. <laughs> but, um, but I'm back to exercising and sleeping and um, it's, it's so worth it. And it was, for me, it was user-friendly. You know, I use that term a lot because, you know, I tried so many other ways that were difficult that I couldn't sustain it. So this was the only thing that ever worked for me. I never would have been able to do this on my own. And, um, I just, I'm going to cry. 
It's just amazing. I just have my whole life back. And we're so glad you do because now you can be here with us. I know. And, and that's and and like Aaron said, I, it's so wonderful. And we can't talk about it enough to share this with people because that life of migraine pain is so not necessary. And I've said this before, but I find it impossible to believe that people are still living with migraine. Yeah. After doing this. Yeah. Well, and that's why we continuously do things like this, right? You know, it's because we want, I can't say the word enough, but we want to give that hope back. I mean, I was one of those people. I had daily migraines for 10 years. My mother, my sister, my um, grandmother, you know, we had so much migraine in my family that I just assumed that was my life. Well, it's not, (laughs) you know, and it hasn't been for 10 years. And just like you, Barbie, there was a time in the beginning when I found my migraine freedom that things could tip me over the edge. You know, like obviously COVID wasn't back then, but if I had gotten a really bad, let's say really bad cold or something like that, I might've gotten, you know, a migraine, a low level migraine in the beginning, but as time goes on and your body heals, you're more able to keep that threshold high and keep it locked. Cause right now your threshold is just kind of a little mushy, you know, it kind of moves up and down and it's just because your body hasn't had time to heal. We have to think about how many years we have done quote unquote damage to our body, but then we in turn inspect it and expect it in four months to be healed. You know, it doesn't work that way. We can get to where we kind of want to be in four months, but then we need to give it time to heal. So, um, I love that you explained that so that everyone understands, you know, that difference and understands that you can get there. You just need a little uh, tenacity and a little um, guidance, you know, to be able to do it in a simplistic way that works for you, that each one of you, because each one of you took this journey differently. I hope everyone watching knows that, um, that, you know, even though we have a foundational program, each person took the pieces that they needed to and really formulated a plan that worked best for them. And that's what we help you do, which is amazing. Okay. Um, you know me, I'm going to keep talking. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> I could talk about this all day long. Um, so the next two, Julie and Kim, they are part of our membership success team. And we're going to go with Kim first. Kim is actually still in the Freedom from Migraine Method program. She is about to graduate. Um, as of today, she says she is feeling so much better overall, has more energy, Her brain fog is lifting, which is something I hear so many of you talk about is the brain fog. Only getting one migraine during her monthly cycle when she used to get six. Um, I think this is important for so many of you to hear because I would say probably 70% of the women I talk to in this group mention hormones and cycles, you know, and migraines worse around their cycle. Um, And Kim was able to do this with, you know, getting rid of um, medications, not having to take the meds all the time, which has never happened for her before. So Kim, we're so excited. We're not excited you're about to graduate it. Well, yeah, actually we can be excited you're about to graduate because you work with us. So we don't have to let you go. (laughs) We we love hate when people graduate because they leave us, um, which is why I have so many employees because I want to keep everyone on. I can. No, anyway, Um, Kim, so your question that someone submitted was what made you decide to join the program when everything else that you had tried failed? Hi, um, thank you for letting me be here. And, um, you know, I think, um, you know, I decided to join the program when everything else failed was, um, hope really, um, not necessarily hope in myself, but hope in Debbie and the program, Um, you know, hope that she had it figured out, you know, Um, and that she was willing to to give everyone else, you know, a chance to find their migraine freedom and, um, you know, hope that the program would work for me, Um, you know, hope that there's ways to control your migraine naturally, you know, without having to take a bunch of medicine and, and whatnot, um, you know, hope that you could have migraine free days and get your life back again. You know, um, I had been through a lot, um, before the program, I had done a lot of research on my own 
I'd been to a couple different neurologists and, um, you know, I'd had MRIs and EKGs and I'd gone to, you know, acupuncturists and chiropractors and I'd done um, elimination diets. Um, I'd been on Botox, um, massage therapy. I mean, just, you know, I felt like I had tried it all mm -hmm. and I just, I was like, there has to be something else out there, you know, that no one, you know, none of your doctors or anything are talking about or, you know, that was, I could find, cause it was just like, there has to be, I, even though they said it was a, um, genetic thing for me, um, you know, it was there, there just, there has to be some way to, to beat it, you know? Um, so, you know, I was just very happy that I found the program. Um, you know, in the first couple of weeks of being in the program, I was like, this was the best decision I had ever made. Um, it, um, there's just so many things that I had, you know, in all my research and everything, I had never come across um, that Debbie, you know, was telling us about and, and was working that I could notice I was feeling better. You know, I was getting rid of migraines, you know, without any meds by doing these, these certain things. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. And I was just like, oh, this is so worth the money, you know, um, you know, you think over the years, how much money you've spent on supplements and, and all your, you know, doctor's appointments and your meds and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, you know, I, I probably spent thousands and thousands of dollars on all that. So, yeah. um, I don't think you're alone there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anyone yeah. watching right now wants to share with Kim, how much money they've spent on their trying to end their migraines over the years, dump your dollar amount in there. I'll dump mine in afterwards. And I think you guys are going to be a little sticker shocked when you see mine. It's rough, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Yep. So it's totally understandable. Um, but I love Kim, how you kept using the word hope, hope, hope. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we can say it enough, right? Yes. Yes. And I, now that I'm further along in the program, um, I feel that my hope in myself is restored because I can do this and I am doing it. Yeah. Um, and I see other women do it. So, um, you know, it, it's restored. It's, um, there is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, you know, and it is possible. Yeah. And you're finally able to do some of the things that you want to be able to do. And I'm sure most of us can relate to this. You know, when you have migraines, the time that you have free is typically spent on tasks that you have to do. Yes. You got to cook. You got to get the laundry done. You got to go to work. You got to, you know, do whatever with the kids or, you know, parents, if you're helping, you know, with, with them, there's like no time left for you. And Kim, you're an artist, um, yeah. you know, so now you're actually getting to do, you know, some of your hobby that you love. Plus let's face it, you're working two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's no way you'd be able to do that if you were still wasting and it's wasting, you know, let's use the word the way it is. It's wasting so much time with pain. And I know some of you listening right now are saying to me, well, I just push through, I do it anyway. So I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to call BS on that. If you are doing it while you're in pain, you're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Barbie tried that. I recall, um, you know, in Hawaii, you know, and we've all tried it somewhere, right. You know, where you try to push through and you're trying to enjoy it, but you don't get to enjoy it the same way. So for, you know, I kind of walked away from Kim, but, you know, to go back to Kim where, you know, now you're able to actually enjoy your art. You might've done it before, but now you're enjoying it. It's got to feel so different and how you're living now. Totally. Totally does. It's, it's not a chore to, okay, I, I feel halfway decent. I can go down and, and work on my art. I can, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay. I, I can do this any day I want to now. Like yeah, for you, and I have, yes. And I have the, the brain 
uh, power or function or whatever to, to give it my all, you know, mm -hmm. and to have fun with it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for being here and sharing that today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you. And Julie, we have Julie now. So Julie just graduated Destination Zero about a month ago, I think, yeah. right? I think it was about, about a month, month ago. ago. Yes. Um, she's about 80% migraine free. Your severity, duration, and frequency of your migraines has been drastically reduced. Um, and you're still working on some things, which is 100% okay, because I think that is the key thing for all of us to remember is all of our journeys are different. You know, my journey took me over a year. Uh, it's because I made a lot of choices <laughs> to do some things that maybe I shouldn't have done during that journey. Um, you know, like trying to get back to wine a little early, staying up till two in the morning when I shouldn't have, but those were my choices. So my journey took a year, but you know what? It's okay. Cause after a year I'm migraine free. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying Julie, you're making those choices, but everyone's path goes a little different. You might have medications. You might have another health condition. You might have life situation where something happens and that needs your focus for a little bit more than maybe giving yourself that focus. Um, so everyone's journey comes at a different time. As long as we're always seeing that, you know, reduction in severity, duration, and frequency, that's what we're looking for. So Julie, thanks for being here. And your question that someone submitted was, are the results that you get worth the money and the time that you have to spend to get them? Um, thank you for having me, everybody. And for those watching, I'm glad you're here taking the time to do this. Um, I speak a little French and I'm going to answer this question in French. Hell yes, it's <laughs> worth the money. So um, I can tell you when I started the program last July, um, I had just lost a job that I loved due to budget cuts at the work at the place where I was working. And it really kind of broke my heart. Um, and then I stumbled across Debbie somehow. And, um, you know, I could get emotional about this too, because I swear it was like an angel looking out for me when I saw, I came across Debbie and clicked on whatever she had posted and just felt this very strong, you know, stirring inside myself. I needed to check it out. And I mentioned the fact that I had just lost my job right before I started because, um, very quickly after I joined the Women's Migraine Freedom page. Um, can y'all still see me? Yep. Okay, well my own, okay, there I'm back. I lost myself. Um, <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen, Julie. By the way, I am the most technically challenged <laughs> member on the team. Um, I don't know about that. You do great. You do wonderfully. Well, thanks. But anyway, so, very quickly after I joined Women's Migraine Freedom, the Facebook page, someone reached out to me and, and I did, I wanted to talk to Debbie. So first of all, my, I wrote down a couple notes and I wrote down that everyone on that page, do yourself a favor and just have the phone call. Um, you don't commit to anything, but if you talk to Debbie, if you talk to Barbie, I really, in my heart of hearts, I believe you're going to find um, how committed Debbie and her team is to actually helping you. And you're going to find out just in that conversation that there, there is hope for you. That's a word Kim used. It, that's a word. Um, you do get hope, but with the hope, you join the program and the, that hope turns to results. And that was those results come back to you getting back to your life and the things that you enjoy. And um, we all agree with that. But as far as the cost, I, I think Kim actually hit on that just a little bit. And Debbie, I think she challenged you all to put in a dollar amount. I suffered migraines for almost 50 years. Um, so when I think about the number over four decades from the time I was a teenager, being on uh, preventative medications, plus, I mean, I mean, decades of taking 
medication after medication. I've always had health insurance, but you still have co-pays for doctor's visits. You have co-pays for your medicines. Um, I also did a lot of alternative therapies that were covered by insurance, like acupuncture, massages. Um, I had two surgeries in hopes of helping. So I don't, I would probably be astounded if I actually had a tally of how much money I spent, but I would venture to say it was well over somewhere probably in the 50 to $75,000 range over wow. the course of my life. I don't, I really don't think that would be an exaggeration. Um, but then there's also the cost of the work days that you miss. And maybe you do get paid for sick days, but you're still paying a price. Mm -hmm. um, and think about all the vacations that you miss out on. Something was said about Barbie in Hawaii. I remember the one time I went to Hawaii, uh, all my friends were downstairs enjoying a fabulous seafood dinner. And I was upstairs in the bar area that was close to the public. And I was laying down on a bench covered up in a tablecloth in agonizing pain. Mm -hmm. um, Think about vacations and weddings and birthdays and just everything else that you miss out on because you're suffering and there's just no, read to, no need to suffer. So having had lost my job, but when I spoke to Debbie, there was not a doubt in my mind that this program was for me and this program was going to work for me because it was different than anything that any doctor, no doctor had ever talked to me about getting to the root of the problem. And that's, that's the whole point of this program. And so the cost of the program, when I first heard the number, I thought, okay, well, that's a lot. How am I going to pay for that? But I was able to find, with a little research, I was able to find a credit card. There's actually several credit cards out there. If you, you can all do this research yourself. But I found a credit card that gave me... Um, more than enough credit to cover the cost of the program for 0% interest for the first 18 months, which I haven't even reached that yet. So for me, I, it was more than worth it for me to take out that line of credit to pay for this program. And it's paying me back already. I will, I will get that money back tenfold. So I would just encourage you not to let the cost of the program be the reason you decide not to do it because um, none of us are here to blow smoke or just try to sell something for Debbie. We're all here because the program has worked for us and it has changed my life. And I think it would absolutely change yours. Well, thank you, Julie. And that is one day that I will never forget. You know, the leap of faith that you took. And it literally took you an hour. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, it was you, fast. <laughs> yeah, you and I were on a call and you're like, all right, I'm gonna go figure this out. <laughs> and then I get this message from Julie Reeser. I'm like, oh, all right, she's ready, let's go. And you were started that afternoon. Um, and that's not easy, right? We all, we live in a time right now where the world is, it's crazy. I mean, I, I could use a different word, but we'll make it PG and I'll just say it's crazy. <laughs> Um, you know, and there is a worry, things are getting more expensive, you know, things are going on in Russia, we still have COVID. And so I do think that this is a time that people get a little bit more scared. And they're like, I just want to hold on to my money. I just want to hold on to it. But really, what are we holding on to? We're holding on to pain. We're holding on to a life that, you know, is just slipping by, because you can't get time back. As you know, there is no way to get time back. If I could get time back, my daughter would not be 22 about to graduate. My son would not be 26. And, and not that I don't wish them happiness, but you know, they're not here. <laughs> I miss my babies. I miss that time because I missed it. I missed that time because I had migraines. Um, you know, they remember me just not feeling well all the time. And that's not what we want for you. That's why we do these things. So yes, there is a cost. If the Freedom from Migraine Method program, if that's the best way for us to work with you, yes, there is a cost to that. But there's a cost because you're paying for us to coach you on a daily basis. You're paying for all these amazing women that are on the screen right now and three other uh, 
four others that are not here today. Um, you know, so we have a full team that is supporting you to migraine freedom, not just one doctor that you're going to talk to every six months, but a team yeah. of women. Yeah, go Can ahead. Add to that, Debbie. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, you are getting a team of women, but you're also getting um, online, basically like well, online modules, but you'll have access to that for the rest of your life. You'll have it. You're getting, um, you know, access to speakers from around the world who are the best in the, the best in their fields to talk about education. I mean, to talk about inflammation, to talk about your diet, gut health. I mean, there's just, there is a wealth of information out there that's included in this. And it is, I just think it's worth every penny and then some. Well, you've definitely proven, you all have proven that it's been worth every penny for you, which is amazing. And speaking of those speakers, we actually have two that are coming up in the next couple of weeks in the Freedom from Migraine Methods. So if you're a member, you get to take advantage of that. We're going to be talking about uh, insulin resistance and um, its impact on inflammation and migraines, which is going to be huge to have two, two experts come in and talk about that. So that's amazing. Well, Everyone, I just want to say a million thank yous for everyone jumping on. There's so many names over in the Women's Migraine Freedom Group. I can't even get through them all right now, but do me a favor. Each one of you that is watching, give us a comment right now. Let us know what resonated with you the most. The reason we brought everyone on is so you could hear a little bit about everyone's story. Um, you know, did you resonate with what Barbie was talking about, about how she got labeled, you know, a million different migraines, um, you know, or was it the word hope or was it the fact that money is concerning you, or was it the fact that you're just petrified that you're going to try this program and it's going to be one more thing that doesn't work for you? You know, we, I think I had all those fears back when I was trying to find my migraine freedom and it's okay, but let us know so that we know how we can move you forward and how we can actually help you get to where you want to be. I hope that this was 100% super helpful <clears throat> for everyone watching. Um, for those of you that attended live, Amber will be sending via messenger hot off the presses our day in the life of a Freedom from Migraine Method member guide. So make sure that you watch for that in your messenger. If you're not friends with Amber on Facebook, make sure you let us know that so we can ensure that you get it so it doesn't get stuck in your members request folder. Um, addition to the guide, for those of you that are here watching now, if any of you decide that you're done, you are like, I am so done with these migraines. I just really need to move forward. If you join the Freedom from Migraine Method between now and April 8th, which I believe is next week, next Friday, next Friday, you will receive the month of August on me. You know, because you would be bumping your time right up into the end of the summer. And I can hear it right now. Summer's busy. I don't want to lose my summer. I want to make sure that I have time. No, your time is now. Time to work on you now. So we'll make sure that we give you that extra space that you need that will allow you to do one of my favorite things, work slow and steady and not stress about, you know, getting done, not stress about, you know, oh my goodness, there's no way I can do this. Um, and this will give you the actual time that you need and the actual headspace that you need to actually work on reducing in the right time, the severity, the duration, and the frequency of those migraines so that you can find lasting results. Because that's what this is about. This is not about finding you migraine freedom for a couple months and then you going back to your migraines when you're done with the program. This is about teaching you what you need so that you can continue on with a life that you want, a life with freedom from migraine. So I'm going to make sure that we drop the link for a migraine clarity call in the comments for you as soon as this video is done. And if for some reason you cannot find a time in the schedule, uh, just let us know and we will see if there's a time that Barbie and I can open up for you in the next couple, you know, in the next few days so that we can make sure we get you in there so that you can jump on and grab that deal if that's something that you'd like to do. Uh, thank you. We're getting some hearts over there. Wonderful. So again, thank you, ladies. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kim, for jumping on. I greatly appreciate your time today. I know how busy you are because I keep you busy. 
and the group keeps you busy. So I really do appreciate you taking your lunch time with me today. And I know that the women in the group really appreciate this as well. If you have any questions for any of these ladies, please tag them in the comments so that we make sure that we see them so that we can get back to you right away. You guys are getting all sorts of love. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Here's to your migraine-free day and we'll see you in the group. Take care.